Hello everybody, and um, I guess I will make a start now. Um, this game is Hammerhelm, and it is uh, developed by Calendril. It is currently in a alpha state at the moment. It is on version 0.2.26. Um, so very early in its access, and I think it has got a game demo if you guys wanted to go and check that out, which is for free, but I've bought the game so we've got everything unlocked. Thank you very much to my PayPal people who uh, put some money in there so I could buy it. So, let's have a play, shall we? So this is basically a game where you are a dwarf. And you're, I'm guessing, the, the leader of a village. Oh, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can load. Cool. Oh no, you know what I haven't done? I'm going to go back to the title screen. What I need to do is to delete all my save data. Because you guys don't want to see my half played game, you want to see my new game. So we can do that here, delete save game. So hopefully this time, here we are. Let's get my name in there, Shilab. And this time we should have a brand new world. Which we do! Hooray! Okay, so basically we start off and we're in this uh, big old world and it's kind of, you know, got this sort of, uh, I don't know, Minecrafty sort of, um, Minecrafty sort of open world sort of look to it. But the difference with this one is if you press P, you can go into a build mode and that's what it wants us to do right now. So this is the build menu. And you can select the building you wish to place and click, click craft. Move the mouse cursor to the desired location and click left to place and build footprints. Uh, you can't overlap it, but roads are allowed to overlap each other. So that's fairly simple. This is our building area. So our village can, it's quite actually quite a big map that you're allowed to build on. And I'm quite excited because um, this game does expand quite a lot and I got to play about an hour of it on the demo earlier um, and at that point it was kind of like I built a tiny little bit and then I ran out of buildings and things that I could make so I'm hoping we can do a little bit more this time. So the first thing it wants us to make I think, uh, if I remember rightly, is a wooden house. So I'm going to build that. Oh, I need a storehouse first. Okay, let's build a storehouse. So I'm going to build my storehouse slap bang in the middle of the village. Because I think storehouses should be central, don't you guys? Um, Andreas Wagner, you have not missed anything. You have just missed me literally opening the build menu and putting down a house. A storehouse, actually. So I'll craft that. Oh no, I don't have enough gold. What's this about then? Maybe I need to... Oh no, I've started making it. Place a storehouse and a wooden house, it says. Ah. Oh. Well, there should be... There should be a guy making this, but... There won't be a guy making this until I make the house. So let's go back in and see if we can make the house. I don't know what I did wrong there. Oh, I do have enough. I just didn't have enough for a second storehouse. I think that's what I was trying to do. Right, so I'm going to just stick that house next to it. What will my town be called? Who wants to name the town? Does anybody want to name the town? The town of Oashen. <laughs> All right then, town of Oashen it shall be. Seeing as you spoke first, is that the right way to say it as well? Let me know. I don't want to call the town the wrong thing. So now we have a wooden house that has allowed us to get two people that are going to live in that house. So they have started working on building the storehouse and building the little wooden house. So let's go back into here and we can see them. You can see the houses getting built, the storehouse is getting built there. 
state. Okay, so we should be able to talk to these guys. And they'll tell you about themselves. My name is Sen Ryu. I am a worker. Do you know what? I don't think their name should be that. I don't think their name should be that at all. I think we should give them new names. So we need to go into this menu here. And I think if I left click on them, I can rename them. So Zangiri, you're going to have the first one. We've got Zangiri in the town. Ocean. Oh, okay. I So it's the town of Ocean and we have Zangiri here. And we're going to have Avak as well. Uh, no, not that one. That's Zangiri. Hmm. Left click the portrait. Change the name. Okay. That one's going to be Avak. Yeah, yeah. We've got Avak and Zangiri. Yay. They're much easier to say than names a game with. Okay. So I need to speak with Zangiri the worker and ask about activity outside of the town. Okay, let's do that. So you can see as I'm walking around, my stamina's going down. And I can I can sprint, I think. But that makes my stamina go down even faster. So let's uh, speak with Zangiri and see what quest he has to give me. Okay, Sangiri says, Hello, Sheila, but this is the perfect spot to build our town. But I saw some goblins to the east. They didn't look friendly. Hmm. My name is Zangiri. I am a worker. Okay. So it's telling us that we have to go and build, uh, sorry, destroy some monster camps. So for that, I'm going to need my sword. And I'm going to need my shield. And I'm going to need my healing potion up here. And my stamina potion up here. So let's go get those goblins. Welcome, 88 Master. So we're just going to go and bash some goblins. So I can block using my right hand click. My right hand click. And I can swipe using my left click. But... You should know by now, if you've ever watched my Let's Plays, I am not one for timing blocks very well. So it's actually telling me here. I can attack, I can block, I can do a dash attack when I'm running. I can dash into them and hit them. But I have to have some stamina to do that, or I can use my middle button. And I hate using my middle button because it's a little scrolly wheel. It's really difficult to press that one. So I probably won't use that too much. But here they come. Whack. 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 Come on, this guy's got to go down first. Oh, no, he's still up. Ah. Come on, down you. Oh, no, I died. Um, not a huge death penalty in this, so I can just try again. Look, look, he's still... He's so dedicated that even when he's, like, dead, he's still moving towards those goblins. Okay, let's get this other goblin. So as I get better equipped, I will uh, I will be able to kill things a little bit more easily. But I'm not I'm not a fighter. So I've got a hundred gold, which will help me with buildings. I need gold for buildings, so we need to go and kill lots of goblins so we can build things. And I've got some leather which I can use to craft. And there are some more goblins down here. Those two were quite hard because they were red ones. I think red means they're quite hard. Okay, these guys are coming for me. I'm going to jump and I'm going to whack them. With my sword. Oh, that, that was really bad. That didn't work at all. Oh, I missed. They're quite interesting in that they do move out of the way when they take a lot of damage. So I find that quite cool. And I've got another chest full of stuff. So this time I got some copper and some more leather as well. And then I think there's a third bandit camp down here. Goblin camp. I'm just going to take one health potion. Oh no, I missed. Oh, I died again. 
I don't think that uh, fighting them in the dark is probably the best idea. So that's two deaths already. I should do a death counter, shouldn't I? Promise you, I'm not this bad normally. Really. If I was a RPG class, I'd be a ranged unit or a dual wielding tank. To be honest, I probably would be ranged. When I played my first ever computer game that I ever played, well, my first, re no, actually that's wrong because one of the first ones I ever played was something like Theme Hospital. But one of the first real sort of RPGs I ever played was Neverwinter Nights. And the first ever thing I played in that was a wizard. So that, that tells you something about my taste in RPG characters. I should stream that one day. It's such a big game though. Maybe one of the expansions, maybe Hordes of the Underdark or something. Right, there we are. So we've got 511 gold, we've got 30 leather, and we've done our quest. So I'm happy with that. As I say, I think that a lot of that was that I couldn't actually see the goblins so well because it was dark. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Hey Kate Lena, how are you doing? Ocean's first RPG was Skyrim. Stealth archer who never missed a shot. Ooh. I do like archers. They are quite cool. Okay, so we're going to go... And we're, I, I really probably... Because I'm so close to the spawn point, I'm going to just do this without uh, taking the health potion because I'm just going to risk it for a biscuit. So... Something has the workers too scared to enter the... Oh, the storehouse. Sorry, not the house. The storehouse. There's something in the storehouse. It's ghosts! Kill them! Kill the ghosts! Oh no, they killed me. <laughs> I'm so dead. I'm so dead all the time. Okay. We'll go back and we'll try and kill them. See, these ghosts. I I'm so immortal. I think the pink one dies easier than the red one. So I'm gonna kill him first. Go on. I think the other thing is I need to not click quite as much. There we go. So th th they went down easy. That was good. Okay, so I need to now place another house and a metal worker's shop and wait for them to be constructed. I think I'm just going to do a big long street to start with. I maybe had to do those other quests so I actually had enough money to do these next bits. So what was it? A metal worker's shop and another house, wasn't it? So I don't think I can do stone houses yet because I don't have stone. But let's craft another house. We'll pop it next door to that other house so they can be neighbours. And then I'll put the metal worker shop, I think, to the other side of the storehouse. There we go. Lovely. Oh, wow. Hello, Calendril. Yes, you are the developer. Wow, that is an honour. Thank you so much for popping in the stream. This is an amazing game, by the way. Okay, I've completely lost my place. I was building the uh, metal workers, wasn't I? Yes, so we're waiting for them just to finish doing their little bits and bobs. Okay, so now I am to press Shift and V, that little uh, one that we went in earlier to rename this little we menu that we went into uh, rename everybody earlier now we have two more people that we need to rename so well we're gonna have to have a calendar aren't we now is that the right no it's one l and who else we're gonna have to have kate lena kate lena i hope you don't mind having a, a beard <laughs> Oh. Did that renaming work? No, the renaming didn't work. 
doesn't want me to rename people. How dare it. No, it's not going to let me. We'll just come out of the menu, see if we go back in. Oh no, it did do it. Okay, and we want a Kate Lenner. I always get the L's and the N's mixed up in your name and it's not up on the chat at the moment. Oh no, it is. Kate Lenner. Yeah, I'm right with it. Good. Kate Lenner. Didn't work. Let's try again. Being a little bit, um, a little bit janky with the renaming at the moment. So I'm just going to leave it for a minute and then we'll go back in a sec see if it works a bit better okay in the meantime while I've been messing around with that I think they have actually built the metal worker and they have properly built the other house which is cool and I was meant to go in and I was meant to assign a metal worker wasn't I let's try and rename again shall we these, these guys they just don't want to be Kate Lenner, that's what it is. They just do not want to be Kate Lenner. And also, Avak got unnamed. <laughs> Let's try doing Avak. Let's try typing it in again. Nope, so these new guys just don't want to be renamed at all. Maybe they just like... They like being... Uh, they like being themselves. They don't want to be changed. How dare I change them? Okay, so let's have a, a chat with uh, Calendrill over here, who is now our metal worker. And we'll chat with him about getting a new weapon. So he says, thank you for building this shop. Well, you're very welcome. I didn't do anything but plan it and tell other people to build it, but that's fine. I can craft a new weapon for you if you find some copper ore. The mine entrance is blocked, but I know where you can find some ore nearby. Oh, that's handy. Thank you very much. Okay, so there's three upper, upper cores. Three copper ores near the town. So if I run out here, I should be able to go and mine them. off we go i love the little stumpy the little stumpy run that the dwarf does it is so cute he's like ah, la la little tiny dwarf legs i've got no stamina left so i can't uh, i can't run well i could if i use a stamina potion but we have to save those until we've got a hundred of them and then not use any of them because that's the rule of computer games press g to collect that's oh we get 10 well that's good Roar! And another ten. And I think there's one more up here I can see. Lovely. Don't tell any of the other dwarves that I'm mining with a sword, okay? They're not they're not to know. It's embarrassing. jump over all these bits. Okay, so we go back to the metal worker shop and we're gonna craft something better than this sword. Whoa! We we float. We float when we jump. That's pretty cool. This little dwarf wants to fly, I think. Okay, off we go. Oh, it was Calendra we needed to go see. Hello! Press T. And I would like to craft something that is better than this. Shall we have a hammer, an axe, or a sword? Stream. First one to say is what we make. What do you reckon?
Yeah, anybody, um, welcome Mockright Gaming and also welcome Strumfax and welcome Toll Panzer and welcome everybody. Uh, anyone that wants to play this game, there is a free demo so you can have a little go before you decide whether you want to pick it up or not. Um, as I say, I've got the full game, so I will be showing you some bits that won't be in the demo. Dwarves need axes, hammer, axe. Well, I think Kate Lena got in there first with axe, so I think we're going to go for the axe. I did say first come, first serve. There we go. I don't have enough copper. Oh, we have to make ingots. We better do that first then. How many do we need? 12. That's loads. There we go. Quest complete. Okay, so let's equip this axe and hopefully that'll do a bit of a better job than that old sword. It does 38 damage instead of 25, so that should uh, take them down a little bit quicker. I think it has a bit of a nicer swing to it as well. We only have 18 gold. Oh, we need to kill some more stuff, don't we? Okay, so we need to speak with um, Almulf the worker. I'm going to see if I can rename them again. It might just be that it was a bit glitchy earlier. We'll see. We'll see if we can do that. So Almulf, I'm going to try and name Avak if I can. Nope, still doesn't want to. That's fine though. Okay, well, I guess we will be speaking to El Moof then. So, D. Um, I would like you to clear the mines, please. I can clear the mines for you. Just give me a moment. That's fine, thank you very much. And hopefully off you'll off you'll toddle to the mines. Bye bye. He's going to go clear them for me. I'm going to follow him just because I've got nothing better to do. What's this? Why is the, why are the trees all green? Are they magical? Look, it's like a magical tree. Do they have special magical properties maybe? I don't know. If, if it is, it's not as far as I've played. Right, uh, how are you doing with that mine? Have you done? Alright, I can enter now, apparently. Let's get in there. G to enter the mines. That was a very loud mine door. Okay, so the mines were abandoned a long time ago, and these mines are now home to many vile creatures. Before the townspeople can begin mining here, I have to make it safe. Strumfax says try not to kill the goblins, show them the word of God. Well, it's okay because there aren't any goblins in this mine. This mine is just full of living mushrooms with evil angry faces. So yeah, I'm already doing a lot more damage with my lovely new copper axe thing. Much better. So you've got to clear this mine out, get rid of all these guys. They do look very angry. Maybe they haven't had breakfast this morning. Ah. Get off me, mushroom. Be gone. Right, that's that's them dead. And you can see how many monsters are left in any like mine or dungeon by the uh, little counter in the top right hand corner there. So I have four monsters left to get. I only have 51 health. So I'll do one more fight, and then if I take a lot of damage, I'll um, take one of my one of my potions. I do like the way that they get out of the way when they're on low health. I think that's a clever little bit of AI, to be honest. I like I I like. That. Oh no! I died, but he was already dead. Don't turn your back on those guys. Good grief. They stab you in the back after they're dead. Or maybe there's a poison effect on them or something. Okay. Oh no, I've got to start again. From the beginning. Yeah, that's rubbish. But at least I start with 100 health this time. That's a good start. Right, that's him straight down. 
Oh, I didn't take any damage there. How good is that? I'm going to grab all this stuff on the way as well. Because why not? Grab all the ores so we get some copper ore. Oh, 11 copper ore. That's pretty cool. Might be able to make some extra stuff with that, you see, if we pick it up on the way. So here's our next two. So we need to stand our ground. Whack. 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 Next one. I need to move around a bit when I'm fighting, I think. Stop. Maybe stops them from hurting me as much. So we're down to 78. And we've got three monsters left. Hopefully that'll be okay. So I don't know how easy it is to get mushrooms, you see. So I'm trying to save my potions a little bit. Just in case I need them later. Okay, just two seconds. I think I have lost you guys in the chat. It wasn't scrolling for some reason. So sorry if you've been talking to me and I have not been replying. It's because the chat decided to not scroll. So I fixed that now. Silly chat. Oh. Okay, you're dead. Oh, this is annoying now. The, uh, my mouse... Hang on. That's better. My mouse was off the screen. And it kept clicking on the, um, on the side dot. Oh, I... Really? That wasn't funny. See, try and fix chat and see what happens. You need to right click to dodge. I know what I need to do to dodge. But, uh, it really helps me with my fighting if, um... Okay, it looks like I've lost whatever reward I had there. That was annoying. But never mind. Okay, so I need to press Shift V, open the town menu, and assign a miner. One miner! Yay! So yeah, this is this is block. And this um is dodge, Q and E. See I totally know how to fight, just when I actually do fight, I don't fight properly some reason. Oh, the mushrooms explode. See, you guys were warning me about that in chat, but then the chat wasn't scrolling properly. So, YouTube, get your act together. Scroll your chat properly. <laughs> okay, well, we've done that. So, do we have a, another quest to do? We should do. I did earlier. Maybe put another miner in. Okay, let's see if we can speak to Calendrill again. We can maybe craft something else with our, our leftover copper ore. Got 14 there. Can I make anything else cool? Like a... I can make a copper horned helm. That sounds pretty good. Let's make one of those. Give me some defence and some, ar some armour there. Copper shoulder armour. I can make a copper fold if I make a couple more. Yeah, no, I don't have quite enough copper for that. But I picked up quite a bit of copper in that mine, so that was really good. I can start to armour myself properly now. It's going to help a lot. So, a fold, a shoulder, a hat. I wonder if these show up. Oh yes, they do. Look, I got my, my shoulder bit and my hat on. How cool do I look? Now, there is a marker on my map. There's no quest at the moment, which is a bit strange. So, 
I sure I'm sure after I cleared the mine earlier there was another quest. But uh, I'm gonna go and see what this quest marker thing is. Maybe I could try going in the mine. Oh, there's something in here, apparently. Let's go and find what it is. No. I'm going to go in and out the mine. If this doesn't work, I may have to just reload the game. We'll go in and out the mine and we'll see if that helps at all. Quest marker's just the way back to town. Oh, thank you. La la. This is the thing, this game is at the moment in um, alpha. I can explore a new level or I can enter a safe level. So I'm entering the safe level. This is just a level that's got all the bits and bobs. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to go out and I'm going to see if it resets the quest at all. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to give it a little restart because I think I have lost my quest line at this point. So just going to bear with me just a second. We're just going to quickly go back to the title screen. And you can, you can read the welcome again if you want. Still adding more quests. Feedback and ideas are always appreciated. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to try and play again and hopefully it won't need me to completely restart the game. It might do. Because that would interrupt the stream at that point. Nope, still no quests. Okay, I'm going to give it a complete restart in that case. Sorry about this, guys. We're going to go all the way back to the desktop. Just to say, it might interrupt the stream a little bit because I think it's trying to capture the game. Just need to quickly find it again. Give it a minute or two. Okay, cool. Well, it's had a full restart now, so it should... If it's going to come back, it'll come back from that. I'll wander around. I'll maybe do another mine. I'll do another little... Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another level. I'm gonna do a new level of the mine, okay? Oh no, we can't do that, okay. I'm not allowed. Right, can we go into build mode? Yes. Haha, -ha, that worked! Going into build mode fixed it! When a restart didn't. <laughs> okay. Find the monster camp near town and destroy it. Okay. I like monster camps. They're full of monsters. Look at me and my little hat. I love that. What other things can I put on? I can have a belt, another shoulder, and a... Uh, I think that says fold. Could be wrong in how I'm pronouncing that though. Oh, 
oh right so there's a fail safe for the game and if it um apparently if it does lose the quest line you just have to wait a minute or two and it kind of kicks back in again so that's what happened there apparently fantastic so don't be impatient people like me but is basically the moral of the story there stop blocking me you horrible little goblin I want to kill you. There we go. Quest complete. So we'll get the, uh, the chest here. We've got ten leather there. And then we'll run on back to town. Oh no, it's stumpy little dwarfy legs. I'm gonna keep saying that because it, it just I'm so charmed by the little tiny teeny weeny little legs. It's so cute. Aha, new quest. A copper ore deposit has been discovered above ground. Where's that? Oh, it's this way. Let's go and get that then. These quests are different to the demo quests um that I did earlier, I think. So I think that I'm not sure if you get more quests in the full version. Pretty cool if that's the case. So I'm, I'm running towards this ore. I must say it's a very lovely landscape and I really like the sea in this as well. I think the sea is really pretty. Whee! I can see it. It's there. It's just over there. And this time I have a, a an axe to to get it with. But I think the axe is more dwarvish than the sword, though. Definitely. I'm not sure I should be blunting it on copper ore, though. And get it! Yay! 11 copper ore, so that might actually be enough to make me maybe another shoulder or another piece of armour or something. Which would be pretty cool. And actually, yes, having that town marker is very, very useful because when, when I'm out in the wilderness like this, I don't think I would be able to find my way back. I'm pretty useless at that. I know Avrak is amazing at it. He has this uncanny way of knowing exactly where he is in a game. <laughs> All dwarven weapons are good for mining. In the game they are, but in my head, in my head, dwarves should just have a pickaxe. Speak with Zangiri the miner and ask about his recent illness. Oh no, Zangiri! What happened to you? Whee! I love jumping down big things because it's like he's floating. It's like he's flying. Oh, I'm liking how my town's looking now. It's starting to look really, like, really cute. Okay. Let's see what Zangiri has to say about his recent illness. Okay. Haven't been feeling well lately. Perhaps a healing potion would help me. F You're not having my healing. Okay, you can have my healing potion. Gave me twenty-five gold for my healing potion. Oh, thanks, Zangiri. Okay, and I now need to speak with. Here we go, new quest. Calendril, and ask about disturbances in the house. Is it more ghosts? Evil ghosts. Right, here we go. So, quest. Something has been making noise in my house. I can't sleep. 
Okay, well, which one's your house? Is it the end one? Probably. Oh, it's this one? Is it this one? Let's have a look in here. Oh, look, there's a ghost. Oh, but we don't need to kill this one. We can speak to him. Please don't hurt me. I mean no harm. I'm sorry for disturbing the residents of this home, but my spirit is trapped in this world by other ghosts near the ruins. I must return there now. Please help me. Ooh, okay. I need to clear a cave as well. I also need to find ghosts in the ruins and destroy them to set the restless spirit free. Okay, so at this point, I think, um, it did say I could tab between the quests to, to move my marker. Yeah. So I think we're going to go and do the ghosts first, though. But that looks like an interesting quest. Oh, up the hill we go. I chopped that. Oh. Can chop down trees, apparently, though. But I just like to let my, my peasants do that. <laughs> My townsfolk, I mean. Uh, um. Ah, yes, sprinting. Thank you, guys. Go a little bit faster, then. Problem is, you sprint there, and then you can't block. Not that I block anyway. This is why I need all this armor on. What's up here, apparently? I feel like a horse in Skyrim! You guys know what I mean. Oh no, I, I'm a rubbish... I, I. The horse in Skyrim would be ashamed of me. I would be ashamed of my rubbish hill climbing abilities. Oh, get up the hill, get up the hill, come on, we can do it. Yay. Ah! Yeah, that's right, scream, scream. Where did your friend go? He's behind that wall. Oh, really? I, I wasn't paying any attention to my health. I'm sorry, guys. We've got to go again. <laughs> Well, that told me. Uh, apparently, according to chat, I am not the horse in Skyrim. They are way more badass than me. And they could probably kill those ghosts much more easily than me too. And they would keep an eye on their health. And we've got a death counter going now as well. Six, apparently. I don't care. There's no death penalty. Except having to run <laughs> all the way back. I suppose that's kind of a death penalty. Having to redo the dungeon. But then, you know, you get to come up here and see the beautiful blue ocean. Look, it's so pretty. Okay, we're nearly back there. You can die, you horrible ghost. You killed me. How dare you? I'm going to take a potion. I'm going to actually use things, these things that are supposed to give me an advantage. Okay. Again, come on, hit. 
make a potion, quick. I was at, I, I'm actually better when I'm stood still than I am when I'm doing the, uh, the dodging around, which is strange. Eight red mushrooms, yay, I can make more health potions. Okay, so there's there's the dude down there. He's, he must be happy now. He can go and rest now. Please don't hurt me. I mean no harm. Thank you. I can never repay you for what you've done. I can leave this realm now. Well, we, you can never... Are you going to pay me, though? No? Oh. Come out all this way. He doesn't even pay me. Oh, I don't think he did anyway. Okay, so I can find the cave near town and clear it, or I can find the dungeon near town and clear that. I wonder which one's closer. Is there a map? No, we just have to go by the mini map. Right. At least there isn't one key bound to M anyway. So we'll just do the first quest that we can uh, do, and then we'll go back and do the dungeon. It says it's near town, so if they're both near town, it shouldn't be too far away. Yeah, too right, Mark Right Gaming. Too right, I want payment for for running all the way over there. I've got a town to build and people to feed and stuff. Okay, so it looks like there's a. Is this the cave? Yeah, I think this is the cave that we're talking about. So this is like another dungeon. Press G to enter the cave of fungus. Oh, doesn't that sound delightful? The cave of fungus looks newly inhabited. The stench of evil permeates every crevice. Be wary. So, so this is looks kind of like the mines, except it's got some lava in it, and it's still full of horrible mushrooms. And there's nine of them. Good grief! Maybe I should have gone back to town and made more potions first. That worked well. I wonder if I can lure them into the lava. Right, that's two down. And let's just make sure we get some um, copper on the way if we can. Whee! Cheap. Ten copper ore, very nice. Oh, so this is a bit different. It's got a big sort of cross to it. And it looks like there's a couple of mushrooms at the end of each one. Seven left, so there'll be two, two, two and three. No, two, two and three, probably. Yeah, going backwards from these things seems to be a... Ah, oh, no, I took a load of damage. Get back, get back, it's gonna blow. Oh, two hit points. Gee. Okay, uh. I suck at this game so much. Okay, next one. There's another splody one there as well. I don't know if I can do five on the amount of health that I've got left, and I only have one more health potion. But we're gonna take it and we're gonna see how I do. Oh dear. Not well by the seams of it. Back off, back off. Oh, okay, right. I have 34 hit points left. I'm going to try and get as much copper as I can before I leave the dungeon. I'm hoping that I'll be able to leave with it. I'm definitely finding this much more engaging than the, the demo was. There's a lot more quests coming up and things like that now. Um, lots of dungeons that I wasn't able to go in before and all, all that sort of thing. It's pretty cool. Let's get the sprinting going on. Okay, 
he's dead. Cool. He seemed to miss then. I was like, no! Two left. And neither of them are explodey, but I don't have much health. Come on. Yes! Did it! I did not think I was going to do that. 44 mushrooms! Oh yeah! That was worth it. I think there's some copper back there as well. Oh, Almuth the miner has been ill recently as well apparently. Got some more copper ore there. I'm just going to check. I think I did take all the copper ore out of all the bits and bobs. I can't remember whether I took it from this side though. I'm just going to quickly check if there's any copper ore that I missed over here. I think I did. No, I didn't. I was right. I was right to doubt myself. Because the more copper ore I have, the better equipment I'm going to have. Oof. There we go, let's get out of here. Oh, escape to leave the cave. Cool. Well, that was pretty awesome, but I think we need to go back to town now. Because then we can go and craft some more healing potions, and I clearly need them. And some more armor, which I also clearly need. Come on. Let's uh, sprint our way back, shall we? Through the forest. I'm I'm a dwarf. I'm not meant to be out in the woods. I'm this is elf like behaviour. There's my home. Beautiful home. Mind you, my my home is kind of elf like as well. That's on the surface and all made of wood. Need to get some stone going here. Well, it's made a little bit of stone. But mostly of wood. Okay, so we want to speak with Almuth, the miner, about his recent illness, but he'll want a health potion. So let's just go straight to Calendril. Okay, about crafting. And we'll make some of these weak healing potions. We'll make a ton of them. What, ten again? That's brilliant. That's what we needed. Right, and how much copper do we have now? Quite a bit, I think. Oh, I've got tons. You have to forgive me for doing so many spammy noises. Right, there we go. We've got 30 copper ingots. So, what can we make out of that? We can make some more shoulder armour and I can make a copper fold and a copper belt, I think. I can make one of those. I can make one of those. That's a lot of leather, though. I can make another shoulder. Oh, I'm much better equipped now. That's good. So I need to just check if I can make a better shield as well. Can I make a shield? I can make a cool copper shield, but I need more leather to do it. Rats. Okay, well, that's something we'll have to look for is more leather. Maybe the next time we go to a dungeon. But look, I'm, I'm way better equipped now. I've got my belt, I've got my two shoulders, I've got my hat everything cool and uh, we'll have a health potion to give to Almulf now <laughs> the dwarves will apparently get upset if I say the e-word well that's what happens when you're a dwarf that runs through the forest certain comparisons have to be made There you go, have a heal potion. I mean, they have no food right now. Are they supposed to have food? Are they going to die without food? <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit concerned about this. So I'm going to see if I can 
make something along those lines. Maybe a farm or something. We can make some bread. Let's make a farm. Let's put it like... We'll put it next to the houses actually. We'll carry on with our straight line. That can be the edges of town. The main bit of town can be like where all the shops are and then the edge can be where the farms are. Apparently dwarves can survive long periods without food based on emergency rations in their beard. <laughs> I like that. Just have this image of this dwarf just like rummaging around in his beard. Out comes a loaf of bread, some fish. One of those hanks of ham. You know the one I mean. Okay, so we're gonna get food production. Have we made the field yet? Yes, we have. Oh, look, it's already got some tomatoes or something in there, look. That's cool. Oh, they all went away. I guess I'm probably gonna need uh, someone to work in the field. I must have at least one available worker at all times. So I do have that. I've got two miners, a metal worker. Oh, right, I see. So can I... Can I reduce? Oh, no, I cannot, once I've made them into something else, I can't reduce them. So that means I'm going to need to get some more money together, I think, to make another house so I can actually get someone to work on that farm. Did not realise that I couldn't... Uh, couldn't do that but we, we want to make a decent sized town don't we gotta make it decent sized so I need 400 gold and I have 322 so if we go and do another quest we'll have enough gold to make another house and then we can get someone working on that farm and they can have some food and so in that case we better go to the dungeon near down. Creatures in the ruins. No, I don't want to clear the ruins. I want to destroy the dungeon, I think. Let's do that. So, where is this dungeon? It said it's near town, which is why I chose that quest. So they better not be lying about that. But yeah, I don't know what food is actually needed for. But I'm, I'm thinking it will be needed eventually, or it wouldn't be in there. Good evening, Chris Bamford. How are you doing? It seems like more of you are finding uh, the stream on YouTube. I don't know if I'm just streaming at a better time than I would be on Twitch or anything. But you definitely... I, I'm seeing more faces today. So I'm hoping that this is a slightly better medium to go on because I'm going to be probably streaming more on YouTube now than I, I am on Twitch, I think. I'm trying to keep everything together a bit. Oh, I think I've possibly gone a little bit off track here. I've just walked off up a big hill. Oh, there it is. This is what we're after. A little dungeon here to do. The Dungeon of Curses. Oh, that sounds ominous. It seems ancient. You can hear the creatures moving about. Be on your guard. There are eight monsters left. And there's one right at the start. Oh, that was good. I'd better take a healing potion because I really don't have very much in the way of health at the moment at all. I think I smash these barrels and I can get gold from them. So ones in the mine are quite good because you can get copper and these ones are quite good for gold. So I'll try and remember that. Ah, you snuck up on me. I hate it when they have just one little bit of health left. It's like, you should just have died the last time. Eight. Oh no! Get off me! Ah, oh, he's dead, cool. So 
some more gold. Oh my goodness, there's flamethrowers! Oh no! Oh, this, this dungeon suddenly got a lot harder. Oh, good grief. Okay, turn it off. Go, 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 go! Run away! Ah! Oh no, I died after all that! Oh, that was a hard dungeon! Oh, that was difficult. I did not like. Oh, my the mood of my town has gone down. Is that because... Is that because they don't have any food? I got some gold, though. Oh, I didn't get to keep my gold. No! Okay, I'm going to run back there. I'm going to see if I can do better this time. I'm going to go in with full health this time, though. So that's always a good start. Going in with, like, 50 health really doesn't help. The mood went down because I died. Ah, right, okay. So they don't like it when I die. They like me to be a, su a successful leader. Well, I will try my best. <laughs> I don't I don't fight very well. And that, that was hard because, like, flames. Flames in my face. I couldn't really um, time my attacks or anything or, or just you know, get ready for things, because... Okay. That one's dead. It really sucks that you're not allowed to keep any of your gold if you die. But it kind of does make it harder, because, it, like... Like I was saying earlier, there isn't really much of a death penalty, so the fact that you've just got to go and do everything again is probably your death penalty. I, I can... I can understand that. I'm waiting for the flames to come out. Are they in a different place this time? A slightly different dungeon? It does look like they are in a slightly different place. Which is going to make this a little bit easier, I think. I wonder whether it's making it easier for me because I did badly last time. I'm not sure. That could be something to do with it. Let's put these uh, flame flowers a little further back. Did I miss any? Yeah, I missed a crate. <gasps> How could I do that? I need the money. I need the money. I do like the way that you have to do these um, little adventures, otherwise you can't progress your village. I think that's pretty cool. There's money in that flamethrower. Okay, wait for it to go. Hit the barrel. Forward. Okay, wait. Wait. Wait again. I wonder if I could, like, make them go in the flames instead. Right. You dodged? How dare you dodge? I'm allowed to dodge. No. Come back here. Die, skeleton, die. Well, I made it through there without a single point of damage. So that was probably more luck than judgment. Haha, -ha, we got leather for that, which is absolutely brilliant. And we found 70 gold. I think that might be enough to build another house. How much gold do we have in total? 600 now. Yeah, I think we can build another house. What? My villagers will be happier.
Okay. Back to the village. Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not. I'm going the right way. It's fine. It's fine, guys. I'm just going to bunny hop because that's what dwarves do in real life. They bunny hop everywhere. New quest! Monster camp. Oh, I like monster camps. They're a bit easier than dungeons. <laughs> okay, so the mood is still pretty dire. So I don't know if that goes back up with time or whether it goes back up with my success at dungeons. There's a copper ore being found. Well, I get, I actually have plenty of copper, I think. I think I'm just... I was missing leather. So, I think I can now do a bit more crafting. And make myself a new shield. So let us make a copper shield. Um, stuns the enemy after a successful block. Well, that's good. That would be good if I ever did a successful block. <laughs> I'm sure that's great for some people. People who are successful at things like that. Um, do we need this copper ore? Probably do, actually. We'll go get it. Oh yeah, I was going to make a house, wasn't I? So let's just do that while we're here. I want them to be happy. I want them to have a house. I'm going to put it opposite some of the other houses, I think. out there and then I'm going to get two more people then and then I'm going to see whether these two new people that are going to live in this house whether I'm actually now going to be able to rename them let's try this again let's try Kate Lena Will it work? Will it not? No, that's okay though. I am trying guys, it's just not working. Okay, these guys have a door around the front here. So I need to turn it if I wanted the door to be facing, but oh, I'm not so worried about that. But now, what this means is I can actually have someone farming, which would be pretty cool. So I can have up to four miners. So at the moment I've got miners, I've got farmers, I've got workers, and I've got a metal worker. I think it's fairly evenly spread, but I'm going to need to keep making all these houses if I'm going to have people working and all of these things like armorsmith, weaponsmith, brewers, tinkerers, alchemists loads of different cool stuff is there anything else that i can build with 200 gold i don't think so i think it's all three or four hundred five hundred i can build a well or a town tree or some lamp posts or i could even build a stone fountain i don't think i'll bother with those for now make a nice little town square with a fountain in it and lamp posts and lovely things like that but not for the minute ah their moods back up that's good they forgot that I died horribly hi Halcyon build the well okay since you said I had to that was the well wasn't it not the uh, fountain Oh, I have to have a stonemason shop, apparently, first. And I don't have one of those. And that needs a carpenter shop. And so does that. And that needs a stonemason shop. Well, we better work on getting a stonemason shop and stuff, but for that we're going to need more money, so... We'll have to go and clear some more ruins and uh, destroy monsters. I think we'll destroy monsters first. Because I find that just a little bit easier. Or well, depending on how many monsters it decides to give me.
Well, I had some kind of ping there for um, an overlay, but it does not appear to be working, and I do not know why. So I apologise for that, if that was a follow or a... <laughs> it was working earlier, so that's a bit strange. All of the stream tip stuff was working fine earlier. Let's get this monster camp. But what I would say is that, oh, the monsters are coming after me. No! That's an awful lot of monsters. Get them to come after me. I'm just separate up a little bit. wasn't it? I really suck at fighting. Let me have the chest. Thank you. Ten leather. Good, good, good. That'll help me make more uh, bits of armour eventually once I get things like steel, which is hopefully will come soon. So Zangiri has been ill again. What is it with you guys? You just keep getting ill all the time. He's, he's just addicted to healing potions. That's what it is, isn't it? Right, apparently an ore, ore deposit has been found above ground. It's been found over here. Although I'm not quite sure what the miners are getting and if they're, if they're not getting ore. exactly are they are they doing for me are they getting stone for the town is that maybe what they're getting i am not sure or maybe there's some sort of building no it's probably is just stone they're getting i think right let's go and see if we can get the creatures in the ruins so we're back over to the ruins again and it's probably going to be ghosts i imagine Yeah, the, the chat's just having a little conversation about whether um, custom buildings could go into this. But I think I can see why it would be really hard to do that with um, with the sort of mechanics that are going on here. It, I think that might be a little bit too much to ask. Oh, uh, do you know what? This ruins has been put in a very, very odd, well, very difficult to access place. But I like to get around and above it a little bit so we've got three ghosts that I can see come here ghosties come here that's right I'll fight you one at a time that's much easier you come here lovely Oh, they give me loads of healing mushrooms. Thank you, ghosts. Love you. There's a new mine level. Oh, right. So that bit that said, oh, explore a new level. I had to wait until the quest said I could. I see. No, you come here. You've got no health left. Yes. Bye-bye, ghosts. And I got a claw root, which I can use to brew potions. Ooh. Might have to have the alchemist or something to do that, but that sounds pretty 
pretty awesome. Okay, so now I really don't have very much in the way of um, health, so I'm just going to take a couple of health potions. And then we'll see if we can go... Well, we're going to have to go back to town, I think, because it's the mine, isn't it? And I'm sure the mine is, the, is right in town. nearly there. I, I'm not sprinting. <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? I'm just having a little dawdle through the landscape. Just enjoying the birds and the trees and the impending darkness. I'm a dwarf. I like impending darkness. It reminds me of being underground. Sorry guys, um, I don't know, this is the first time I've ever dealt with YouTube chat, this is the first YouTube stream I've ever done, so I'm not sure why you guys can't post URLs or anything like that. I'm sorry about that. Okay, he ran out of stamina ages ago. So, I'm gonna pop over here and make some more health potions, and then I'm going to go and check out the mines. Crap. Lots of health potions, please. I need them so much. Right, so I've got 11 now. Well, that'll do for a little while. And then uh, we can give Zangiri his potion. I just think they're addicted to health potions. They just want to steal them all off me. That's what it is. Glow stick trees. Ah, oh, the town's morale is looking quite good. Right, new level in the cave. In the mine, sorry. So, I think that might mean that I can actually expand and have more than four miners, maybe. That would be pretty cool if that was the case. But I'm really loving, um, there's not many games that do such a good balance of adventuring with building. I really, really do appreciate that. It's the sort of thing I really like in a game. Ten monsters down here. I should really take health potions. It'll take a few seconds before I can take another one. Speak with Jamas the farmer and ask for plants at the farm. I assume that means asks about. Ask about the plants at the farm. Okay, a couple of mushrooms down here. And they're not explodey ones. Die! And your friend too! I don't think I took any damage there. A lot of this is about timing, seemingly. Oh, I'm hoping that this is steel. Oh, it's copper. I thought maybe a new level of the mines might have steel in it. That would have been really awesome. 
Here's another mushroom down here. I don't think he's got any friends though. It's all on his own. So that's good. Bye bye dude. I also think, I would like to think that the trees glow with happiness. I saw a thumbnail someone put up earlier and it literally had like a big green glow in front of it and I actually thought it was cool. I thought it was like some sort of fog. I actually like the effect. Sometimes bugs are cool. Let's go get this one. See I keep trying to use all the special attacks and they just do not work for me. And I don't think it's anything to do with the game. I think it's completely to do with me. Got five monsters left. Done okay so far. One down here. Three down here, actually. I know I left two behind back the way as well. Big swing, come on, and oh, I need to take a potion after this. I took a bit of damage there. Oh, down that potion. Okay, what's this? Please tell me this is some. It looks different. It must be steel, right? Oh, it definitely is something. Oh, it's iron, yes. We have got some iron. So I might be able to make. Well, I should probably won't be able to make much with just 10. But if I get a bit more, I might be able to make something. Let's go back up here. I'm sure there were two more up here. That I missed earlier on. Um, were they around this corner here? I think they were. They were. And there's an explodey pants one as well. I need to stay out of his way. Get back, get back, get back. Okay, my quest is complete. I have cleared the mines and I've got 21 mushrooms and two leather. That's not too bad. Let's go and see if there was any ore behind them. There was, and I'm hoping it's iron. Then I can upgrade some of my gear. Oh, a new quest as well. Let's escape and leave the mines. And uh, there are some more disturbances in the house, so there are more ghosts. Honestly. So we're up to like three and a half stars of mood, which is really good. I'm not sure why it's really good. Clearly just is really good. But we're gonna go and have a chat with the farmer, I think. Oh look at Zangiri. Zangiri's like totally loving us right now. Different villagers have different levels of alike and it might be because we're giving health potions and things. So let's go and have a, a chat with Jamas. Uh, great job destroying those goblins. I'll be able to work faster knowing they're gone. Ah. So, I would probably say that that means that they do work faster based on their morale. Would seem to hint at it anyway. So the quests are, the farms have sprouted some odd plants. They might be useful. They're yours if you want them. Interesting. Collect the plants and herbs that have grown in the farms. Oh, there's some mushrooms in the farm. Fantastic. That is very good. And some of these things as well that I collected. Poor roots. I haven't seen anything that I can do with those yet. But 
I imagine when I build the right building, I'll be able to do something with them. Um, so let's have a, a chat about the disturbances in the house first, because that's quite close by. Something has been making noise in my house and I can't sleep. Well, I'm assuming that's your home. Oh, it's this guy again. Dude! Like, seriously, I cleared that out already for you. I'm sorry for disturbing the residents of this home, but my spirit is trapped in the world by other ghosts near their ruins. I must return there now. Please help me. Okay, so I'm going to have to go to the ruins again. And there's apparently a new quest, but it's not telling me what it is. So I can go and see where the quest marker is. Seems to be Jamas again. Let's have a chat to him and see if he's got a quest. Yes, he does. Uh, he wants a healing potion. Well, as soon as you got me all those mushrooms, I think I think you can have one. So I need to find a cave near town, and I also need to go and find the ghosts again. Hmm. So first, I'm going to go pop over here, and I'm going to do some. Quest. I've got 892 gold, so I can do something pretty cool in the village at this point. I've got enough money to build something. So maybe like a the woodcrafter or something. Mm, let's craft potions. There's nothing I can do with that claw root in this building. I, as I say, I imagine that that is done somewhere else. So I'll turn all of those into healing potions. That's probably the most healing potions I've had all game, so that's great. And I can make iron ingots as well. Ooh, hang on. See how many of those I can make. That's enough to make something, I think. So, it's not enough to make um, an iron weapon. It's probably enough to make like an iron helmet or shoulder armour. Okay, what what should I make? Should I make a belt, a fold, a shoulder armour or a helmet? What do you guys think? There's a bulk craft? You guys think helmet first, okay. And that gives me plus 30 hit points as opposed to that, which I think is plus 10. Plus 15, so it's double. Oh, that's awesome. Much better. Can I make anything else? Uh, no, I don't have quite enough. But that's a good start. That's a very good start. I don't know if I can sell that or do anything with it now. Or whether I have to just trash it. I mean, it seems to be just a craft menu, not a sell menu. So I imagine that I can't. So anyway, let's go and see if we can build something cool. Because I haven't built anything cool in ages. Barracks, wow. Marketplace. Not got that in quite yet. But I would say probably the next thing we want is a carpenter shop. We can make new structures, furniture and tools or a stonemason shop. Probably both of those at some point. It won't be long after I get the first one. Oh, right. I can only store so much wood and so much um, stone by the seams of it. So I need to be careful to keep building or I will lose, o lose out on the production there. Um, I'm going to go with the carpenter shop first, I think. And I think I'm going to... I'm going to start turning things around a bit. So I'm going to make the town... A bit of a square. Actually, I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to put it this side. There. 
and hopefully they'll go and oh look you see them all running to build it as well I can build another farm I can build another metal worker shop don't have enough for houses not by very much can't make the well yet okay I would say that that's enough for now quite excited to have this place built but while they're building that let's go and find the now, there's a couple of ones that are near town I like ones when they say they're near town it means I don't have to run as far so I do those ones first and then go go off to the ruins in a minute but their morale is certainly improving I would say like it would be cool if the game had more quests but I do think it's definitely really playable as it is I really don't feel like you know I'm really bored or anything I've been playing for quite a while for something that's this early in alpha I think it's not bad at all um, the cave of despair no I have to do this one the cave of despair Okay, so the, the cave of despair looks newly inhabited. The stench of evil permeates every crevice. Be wary. It has mushrooms in it. Oh, wow, we've got another mine level as well. Fantastic. Oh, it, to be honest, having all these quests popping up just makes it feel like there's loads to do. Ah, oh, I keep missing him. Die, you horrible mushroom. I'm going to take one of my health potions because there's such a long cooldown it's definitely worth keeping your health topped up which is not something I've been doing up until now at all because I'm a noob I love these little grills and the lava effect I think that's really cool Three at once, no! I can't fly three at once. I kind of jump and run away down here. Try and get you in a line. Try and separate you. My axe swings are not connecting properly. That's better. I'm too far away from them, I think. Okay, that's two down. Where's the other one gone? Here he is. I love that I'm assigning a gender to a fungus. I suppose normally funguses don't growl at you. Eight left still. Good grief. Right, are we getting any uh, nice walls or anything here? No. Run down here. And take another potion. And I'm going to hope that I get some potions back at the end, get some mushrooms or something. The game does seem to be giving me like a decent amount of potions and things, so I'm quite happy with that. Oh, three and one's an explodey one. stuck in the ceiling run away oh don't don't hit me when you're stuck in the ceiling you horror that's not fair that's not the rules that was 40 damage that's like a whole potions worth of damage you did to me while you were stuck in the ceiling right four left
Hmm. Where's the rest then? It's just finding the last four monsters. I don't remember where I've been. I think I'm a good person to watch for bugs because if a bug is going to happen, I I have the sort of luck where if a bug is going to happen, it'll happen to me. Ow! You hurt me. You must die. All right, two left, and I can see where they are. I'm going to take a health potion. I'm going to say, I really, really hope I get health potions out of this at the end. There's something glowing down there. I really hope it's some iron. That would be amazing if it was. That's him down. Should have some open lava in this. Oh, don't do that, please. I'm just going to run away until I can take another health potion. Oh, no! Uh, I'm here, you. Okay, what do we get in the chest then? 27 mushrooms. That kind of makes up for the amount I used in here. I think I used three, four maybe. And some iron, which I can use. To get some upgrades um 10 iron ore that should be another like five iron ingots which should make me another piece of armor so let's escape the cave and if we head back to town i think we've got another mine level we can do as well how much money have we got 720 and oh, we should be able to make something else as well in the town I can see the town! I can see all the townspeople! It was actually very near town. Ah, the, the mood of the town has gone down, but I thought I did well in that quest. Did they not have food or something? They seem to have beer. I don't know what... I still don't know what food is useful. Maybe some of the morale from giving them all those health potions is worn off. Okay, let's see what we can make nowadays. Oh, I think we've got a new quest there. Um, so we've got storehouses, we've got houses, metal worker shop, farm, carpenter shop, stonemason shop, an alchemy shop. We can make advanced potions. Armor smith and weapon smith, they would be really good. The brewery might be good. Increases minimum mood. Tinker shop. We can make magical weapons. A tavern improves food production. So we don't really seem to have any food being made at the moment. I've got this farm going and I, I'm thinking I need to make it into something. Metal worker, carpenter. Hmm. Not sure about that. Ah, beer isn't fully implemented. Thanks for coming to the stream, Eagle. Enjoy, Witcher. I need one farm for every four or five dwarves. So I've got about six dwarves at the moment, I think. And I've got a, one farm there. So do I maybe need another farm to... Or another farmer, maybe. So that they're not starving all the time. Okay, well, first things first, I'm going to make... I'm actually going to make a stonemason shop. I think that would be pretty cool. 
I'm going to put it next to the woodcrafter's shop and then we'll go and have a look at that actually. So it can go there. One farm for every four houses. Well, I only have three houses. But is it because I don't have enough farmers on the farm, maybe? Have a look how many farmers I have. No, I can only have one farmer per farm. So why don't they have any food? They're all gluten free. Second farm unlocks more quests. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to go and have a look at the carpenter shop. I'll have a little check of that, see what it looks like inside. Oh, I rolled down the hill. Down the stairs, even. I'll have a look in here. Oh, this looks nice. Oh yeah, by the way, when I was playtesting earlier, if you go in this particular building while it's being built, um, you can get stuck in it. I got around it by moving the building. Which is something you can do. This one's built as well, so this looks to be my, my stone making place. Oh, I like this. This is good. That's really nicely made. Very nice, indeed. Okay, so let's see if that made any more jobs available. So we've got, yes, we can make a stonemason and a carpenter. Um, but I only have two workers at the moment, so I'm going to need a new house for that. And I don't have enough money for that, so I'm going to need to just choose one or the other. So I'm going to choose a carpenter first. And I'll see if that allows me to make any new things for myself. Oh, I think uh, Erot was going to go and be the carpenter, but then it was night time, maybe? Or needed to pick something up. Oh, look, he's doing it. There we go. So I'm going to see if there's any crafting uh, options. Turn furniture off. I'm making furniture. Okay, well, I'll let you make furniture and I'll see what happens going to furnish the insides of all the houses because that would be pretty cool if that was the case. Okay, so there's a new mine level. I think that will get us a bit of extra ore, if not some money. Oh, I'm playing for so long on this. Like normally, I don't do streams longer than about three hours, but I'm just like, more to do, more to do, more to do. <laughs> Next is called the new mine level, and I am gonna pop a potion or two. I probably should have crafted more. I've got ten monsters in this one. I probably should have crafted some um, new armor as well. We'll do that as soon as we've done this dungeon, I think. See, all I can see from chat is someone go is um, Zangiri going, she doesn't see us. Because I can only see about seven or eight chat messages at once, backwards. I'm used to having a much bigger chat window, so I might see if there's any way that I can mess with that. Obviously, as I say, this is very much a test stream for me because it's the first ever one I've done on YouTube. Well, that might be iron down there. I would be very excited if it was. Ah, dodging. You're not allowed to dodge if I can't dodge. Ah. They're hiding behind each other. They are using advanced tactics. To gang up on me. I 
Okay. I think we're done. I'm gonna go and um, I have no stamina. I don't know why I'm trying to sprint when I have no stamina left anyway. Hoping this will be some iron. It looks like it might be. this way now. Six monsters left. I don't back up too far. You, you're quite right. I nearly backed up into another bunch of monsters then. But I know that behind me is safe now, so that's fine. Another flying one again, I think. stuck on the torches. Ow! Get away, get away, get away! I think I can still hit him, so that's the main thing. Oh no, I'm struggling actually. Oh, now he's disappeared! See, this, this game, it doesn't stand up to my backing up tactic. Okay, I'm going to take another potion. And then we've got another four to find. I'm, I'm hoping that one's dead. Oh, it's, it's gone back. Okay, it's reset itself, I think. Um, dude. Now, I'm really hoping that I haven't messed this dungeon up now. I think I might have done. I need to kill all the monsters in it to make it to defeat the dungeon to get the mine level See what I mean? If, if I can bug it, I will bug it. So basically, I assume that the way this game is probably meant to be played is that you actually go and fight them in the place they come from. Ah. Whereas I tend to back up a lot and I think that that doesn't really do the game any good. Hey. Well, I'm determined that I'll come out of here with iron, if nothing else. Yeah, there's one monster left. Guess which monster that's going to be. Well, the nice thing with this is that even if um, something does get totally bugged in a dungeon, all you have to do is redo that one dungeon with like 10 creatures, like maybe 10 minutes worth of work or so. It's not like it bugs your entire game out or anything. So I think people will be fairly tolerant of that sort of bug. I'll see if I can find him again, see if I can defeat him. I'll take one more health potion. So you think maybe his health bar is missing. Yep, you were right, thank you very much. 27 mushrooms for me. We better go make some more health potions with that, haven't we? Was there anything in the corner there? No. Okay, definitely time to make some more um, health potions and some more armour. Let's see how much. We've got 568 gold, so that's enough to make another house, I think. I might be able to make stone houses now I've got the stone maker thing. We'll have to see. Um, right. You. I would like to craft stuff. Thank you. Health potions. Many, many health potions. So can I craft? Apparently there was a bulk craft. I'm back the same. How do I do that? That's crafting one. Hmm. 
Well, I can't see how to do it. I apologise. No, there's no like um, key binds or anything that tell me how to do that. But that, that's possibly me being silly and not picking up on something. Right, so I've got plenty of those. Now let's... I forgot to do the uh, iron ingots. Save up for a sword. Okay. But we're not going to do swords because dwarves don't fight with swords. So we've got two iron ingots at the moment. Should be able to make a bunch more. I've got seven there, which is not enough for another weapon yet. So we'll have to do a couple more dungeons first. There's one near town. There's a copper ore deposit above ground. Um, cursed trees. Oh, would that be those green trees? Is that maybe why they're green? I'm quite happy with that. Um... The trees near town seem strange. We can't get logs from them. Perhaps you should try. Okay. Let's go and see. Chop down some cursed trees and report what you see. Sorry, what you find to Zangiri. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to chop them down. Didn't work, so maybe I'll go back to Zangiri and say it didn't work for me either. Hmm, tea. Oh, there's supposed to be cursed wood. Okay, right, I better go and see if I can chop one of them then. Maybe I need to do it for a bit longer. I haven't tried chopping trees down before, so... We'll try this one. like that one's fully grown we'll, uh... apparently that one wasn't fully grown the one I was trying to, to hit maybe I got some cursed wood there so we'll give that to Zangiri and we'll see what he has to say for himself I actually quite like the way this this village is starting to turn out now it's starting to be a kind of little square there I like that uh, I didn't mean to roll I meant to, to talk Give first wood. This looks like the work of goblins or orcs. You should be able to find their camp nearby. <gasps> Cursing my trees? How dare you! I'd better go find them. Search the wilderness for the monster camp causing the sick trees. Well, it says it's in this kind of direction. Oh, right, yep. I was going to say, I don't have very many healing potions left, but I've got like 11 in my inventory, so that's why I'll add them when it's uh, going to let me do it. So. Aha, I found them! Ah! They are extremely damaging! Total coward. I don't really want to run them back into the village though. Okay, they, they're waiting up the top there. Right, okay. They were a little tougher than I expected. 
I would have been better off going to a dungeon. Okay, I think uh, while I'm waiting for my health to go back up, let's see if there's anything else we can build. I'm thinking we might need some more villagers very soon. So I'm thinking a house would be good. I'm actually going to reposition. Um, going to reposition this house. So to do that, it says left out and right click or pick it up. Do I wish to upgrade it or move it? Oh. Well, we'll move it for now, but it's nice to know that there's the option there. And I think what I'd like to do is to, again, put it in a... Yeah, carry on with my big square. I don't know why I want to build it in a square. I just do. I'll put pretty things in the middle. But yeah, pretty cool to know I can upgrade it. Must be upgrading it into a... Uh, stone house which will probably be that will probably increase the um, happiness of the villagers I would imagine that's the only thing I can see that that would be good for am I stuck in this menu yep I am stuck I'll just click craft on things until maybe I can make a tree and then come out of it. There we go. I was hitting escape quite a lot there and escape wasn't working. It seemed, it seemed, I think, I think it was getting stuck with me trying to move the house. Not sure exactly what about it was doing that, but didn't seem to like it. Although actually, I did want to build a new house as well, and I didn't even do that. Didn't even do what I was trying to do. Oh, that's because I don't have enough wood. Okay. So actually, I can chop down trees myself, can't I? So I can add to the, the wood in the village. If we run out. I'll try and get one that's not quite as cursed. Oh, okay, actually, no. We can get a cursed one. So does that make it so that we've got more wood in the village now? I'll check. No, we don't have any more wood than we had before. Okay. My workers aren't chopping trees because they're cursed. Oh, that sucks. Of course. So I have to... I'm going to have to get rid of those guys. Those goblins. And I bet they'll all have reset as well. And I only have 30 points of health. those there. Oh, that's not good, is it? I need to find a better way to fight. I don't know if it's even the same goblins. Oh, they did 44 points of damage to me. Die. Die, 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 die. Die. Ah, get away, you. Ah, uh, horrible thing. No, 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 no. Get back, get back, get back. Okay, one more hit. Oh, yes. Speak to Zankiri the miner about the healthy trees. Okay. I killed them. 
I really didn't think I'd be able to do that. Joe Spike. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Okay, let's go speak with Zangiri. Best for you. Oh, wonderful job returning the trees to their healthy state. Thank you very much. And I've got 25 coins for that. Very nice. Now, now will you let me build that extra house, please? That would be really good. What shall we do next then? We can go and find ghosts in the ruins. We can go and find a copper ore deposit. Or we can find a dungeon and destroy it. I actually think I'm going to do the ghosts in the ruins because uh, my health is pretty poor at the moment. Maybe I'll find mushrooms. I don't know. But by the time I come back, hopefully there'll be enough wooden things to do a bit more building. And I might have some more money. Because I would love an alchemist. That would be pretty cool. You think that the carpenter is stuck? Oh, okay, hang on. Yeah, he does look a bit stuck. Let's see if I can chat to him and see if that would break his cycle. Try turning furniture off. Let's see if that does anything. Now he's just stood there. Turn furniture on. Okay, he seems to be off on his travels now. Oh, plants at the farms. I like that one. Because sometimes it means I get extra mushrooms. Extra mushrooms are good. Hello, Jamas. Do you, do you have mushrooms for me? Yes. Oh, and there's loads of them as well. Great. Health potions for me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the alchemist because I'm hoping that those um, other things I found, whatever they're called, those core roots. I'm hoping that there'll be something that the alchemist can deal with. Okay, let's go make health potions. Hello, Calendril. Give me some health potions, please. Not that I'm demanding or anything. In the number one slot just in case I need to suddenly quickly hit a hit, uh, hot key yeah so I've got an awful lot of copper there but I don't really think I have much of a use for it it'd be good if I could sell it or something or build buildings using it or something like that as well now shall I make that house do we have enough We have even less wood than we did before. Okay, I'm going to let them carry on getting wood and I'm going to go and do a dungeon. Get my health up a bit as well. I'm going to do the ghost... The ghostly ruins again. Walking on air. I'm 
very tempted to start singing the snowman. Oh, I can... Uh... Oh, right, the wood is going down because furniture is being made. Okay, so I probably need to stop him doing that until I can get a few more villagers to start chopping the wood down. I'll uh, turn that off once I go back. Although I need to go and have a look and see what furniture he's actually making. Like beds or something? Okay, the ghosts are coming. I need to I need to find a good place. Get get to the higher ground. I have no idea if getting to higher ground helps in this. I think even just slightly psychologically it tends to help. Nine mushroom and seven claw root. I think it, the game is kind of assuming that um, I'm going to have an alchemist suit. So he's giving me claw root now. Now there's probably more ghosties where that one came from. Ow! You flanked me! How dare you! Ow! See, one thing I would say is that they don't, um... There's no, it could just be me, but there's not really much of a signal saying I'm about to attack, please block now. Not that I'm a very good person for blocking anyway, but I find it hard to, uh, to tell when they're about to attack. Please don't hurt me, I mean no harm. Okay, well we've seen that quest before. How much money do I have now? 930. We should definitely be able to do cool things now. I think I... Am I right in thinking I can chop down my own? <laughs> you can still hit someone in the face after they've been flanked. You just hit them in the side of the face. Mushroom do a little freak out animation. Oh, okay. Get three monster camps near town. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to town now because I, I really want to do some more building. But that's the, like, the quests are cool and the dungeons are pretty cool. I definitely am someone who prefers the building side of things. I like to see new buildings in my town every so often. But it's nice to have that as a reward. I don't even know where I'm going, sorry, I'm going completely the wrong way. Oh, this is fun. Oh, okay, I found one of the monster camps. I, I really don't have enough health for this. I'm just going to run away. I know when I, it's a losing battle. Okay, we're back to town now. I can just sit here and quaff some potions. Right, so I'm gonna go and have a look and see how much wood we have. 17 now, so we are slowly building it up, but you're quite right in saying that uh, turning the furniture making off might be a good idea. I wanna see what furniture is actually made. Is there anything new in here? No, it's the same old racks and stuff as before, I think. Maybe in the houses. Have a look. 
any beds or anything. Oh, look! They've got beds and tables and little, like, end tables and everything. Oh, that's so cute. That one hasn't been started on. But to be fair, he hasn't been there for a while. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Decked out that whole little house. I love stuff like that. Yeah, and that's the same stuff. That makes that makes me happy in my heart. Okay, now I'm gonna go and test whether I can. Now things aren't cursed. Whether I can uh, add to the. wood in the camp so at the moment there is 10 that's cursed wood okay is that cursed wood oh yeah it's cursed wood again I'm just getting loads of cursed wood no good for me and now there's zero okay I'm gonna see if I can turn this furniture making off because that's really not helping but I can't because the furniture maker isn't here yet because it's the middle of the night Let's see if I can find him here he is if I chat to you furniture off please thank you I need to build houses and stuff. Can't do that with you using all of the wood for furniture. Especially if I can't help. I've got tons and tons of money now, see, and I've got no wood. So what I really need to do is keep more of these guys as workers. Get rid of that first wood and go in the trash. I don't think I can use that. I don't want to throw away my helmet though. Yeah, well, I'll just. I think they seem to be bringing in wood themselves. Now I've turned the furniture off, it's going up again. So that is the main thing, I think. Who wants to go do a dungeon? I think we should do a dungeon next. Let's do the, the cave near town. That'll give them a good amount of time to work on getting more wood. And I really want to build... I want to play with all the buildings that I haven't had a chance to play with in the demo that were locked to me in the demo. And uh, I've now got unlocked, like the apothecary. We, we can run very fast. Super fast on little tiny legs. They said it was near town. I don't think this is very near. I have to run a lot here. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you off. It was quite near. Cave of emptiness. Does that mean there's no monsters in it? No, I didn't think so. It looks newly inhabited. The stench of evil permeates every crevice. Be wary. So I think this is mushrooms again. Let's have a health potion. Try and drink them as much as I can. I have a bunch that I should have made into health potions already. I'm hoping that claw root will make me a stronger health potion. We'll see. We should put one guy up here. Hmm. 
I see that little wiggle they do. Die! Okay, that's one down, nine to go. There's three down there. There's one down here. So I'll do the one down here in case I need to back up. I definitely need a better weapon at this point. Let's get them coming towards me. I was just testing to see if he did any friendly damage, but he doesn't seem to. Lovely. Okay, I need another health potion. So bad. But there's only five monsters left. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any iron there, so that's fine. Let's pop on down here and see what we've got. down here and something behind and that looks like it might be copper though oh three how dare you be three oh, they're mobbing me a bit there so I'll run back a bit this is not a good fight come on I keep missing there they go. Did they reset? Ah, oh, come on. That's one nearly down. Just jump over them. That's a good tactic, right? Let's go get this whatever it is. I think that's copper though. Yeah, I can't defense so I need a good offense. Well, actually, to be fair, the armor does help. Like, if I'm not dodging and things like that, and I'm standing right in the way of all the attacks, then armor is a good thing to have. Right, more health potions. Ow! I was meant to be jumping over, not like jumping straight into. One more, one more. Yay! We've done it. Oh no! Ah no! I was trying to jump out the way. Oh, I don't get the chest now. That sucks so much. And I'm also stuck inside a building. That's very unfortunate. Right, the way to sort this out, if any of you have this issue, is to move the building. So it's Alt, right click. Move it over a bit. And I'm stuck in the menu again. So let's see if I can do anything about that. Can I do anything? I'll try and move it again. Now I can try and maybe craft a tree again and then it might let me escape. If I craft something, it generally, I'm just going to pop a tree down actually, I, I think a town tree would be nice. Ok, 
Okay. Yeah, it seems that if you craft something and put it down, you, you end up still stuck. There's my town tree! Yay! You end up still stuck. Um, but if you craft something and then exit out, it'll let you exit out of the menu. And this was the building I was stuck in. For some bizarre reason, I ended up down in the basement of here, I think. I don't know how I managed that. But yeah, now everybody's mood is rubbish because I died. So that's no good. But we do have a new level of the mines to look at. And also, I think I might have enough wood now for a house. I think I only needed 15. And that's going to help a lot. With general production. So we'll just pop that next to the other house. A little housing estate going on here. Could have done a stone house, actually. How much stone do we have? 48. Plenty. So they're building a new house over here and hopefully that'll mean that there'll be more woodworkers. I'll probably build two more houses before I send somebody to work at the stonemason place. Probably should have thought about houses before I did that. Might have to make another square of houses behind here or something. But yeah, so they're going to work a bit slowly now because they're all annoyed that I died. Which is a shame. But it looks like their mood does kind of recover with time as well as with winning things and stuff like that, so... I think they're okay. Right, so we're back to three wood. We actually have a proper amount of food now. So it might just be that before the farmer just wasn't keeping up, but it seems to be keeping up fine now. Which is really, really good. <laughs> Your mood is low because you are the town. Okay, so. What I really want is an alchemist. Like, I'll probably end the stream once I know what the alchemist does. <laughs> I might do another one still because uh, we've been going for a while, but I still feel like I haven't really gone through a lot of this stuff because we haven't really had... Um, we've had that building, that building. We haven't done stone houses... We haven't done alchemy, armorsmith and weaponsmith, a brewery, a tinker shop, the sewers, a tavern, a mage's tower. It's quite a lot. Uh, faster healing for townspeople. Do, do the townspeople get attacked eventually? I know that the barracks isn't implemented. Is that something that's planned? They'll be attacked on the town. Because that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I think if I build a few of those, then I'll pretty much be done with my town at that point, And then maybe that'll be time to end the stream. Depends on how quickly I manage it. But I think I'm going to go down the mines because I'm lazy and they're close by. Night night Zangiri! Thank you for coming to the stream! Okay, new level. Miners discovered this new area of the mine. It must be cleared of monsters before it can be used. Okay. Here we go. At least we actually have a full complement of health this time. Yeah, we do have quite a lot of buildings to still build, so I think this might warrant a second stream. Because I am getting roasting in this room as well. And a little bit hungry. But let's do this uh, this little cavern, and we'll see if we have enough uh, wood after this to do the alchemist. Ah! No, that's not a good place to be! Ah! Run! Okay, this is better. More control. Ow. 
dead. Run! Oh! I thought I was far enough away then, but I was not. Okay, eight monsters left. Hopefully not too many of them are explodey. Die! potion oh no there's three of them in here one stuck on the ceiling again ah come on die 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 all right that one's dead I'm gonna go over this way. Bring them back again. Come on. That's actually quite a good way to get them unstuck off the ceiling. Woohoo! Ah! Go on! Die, die, die. Die, die, die. So my commentary is basically. Um, it just goes downhill once I start fighting, and all I say is die, die, die repeatedly. So I do apologise for that. again. I was hoping that that would be some iron, but it's not. I'm looking forward to getting enough iron to have a decent iron weapon. That'd be really cool. Do a bit more damage. Because I certainly need it. What's this then? Ah, more copper. What's down here? More enemies? Nope. Well, that's back to the start again. Okay, that's the wrong way. Hmm. We're out of all my stamina now as well. Try down here. No, we've been down there. There's four monsters left somewhere. That's over this way. And there's down here. Oh, maybe they're down here, actually. They must be somewhere. Oh, G to collect this resource. Oh, they've missed some. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, I'll pop down here and see if we can find them down here. They are very, very elusive. Where are you, dudes? Aha, there they are. I don't know why I seem happy about this. Right, well, there's one there and two behind, unless there's three behind. And I will, as a precaution, take one more. One more. Health potion. Yeah, there were three. I thought there might have been. One down. Ow, I ran straight into his attack there as well. He was doing a little wiggly dance and everything to tell me all about it. Nearly there though. One more swipe. Done. Cleared the mine. 30 more mushrooms and some more leather. Fantastic. I'll see what this is down here. And then we'll get our butts out of here. Ah, more copper. Okay, right. Tons of copper, and we didn't get any iron that time. That's pretty poor. Cool. 
Okay, so. 742 gold and 18 wood. Now, see if that is enough to make the apothecary. Sorry, it's an alchemy shop. No, I need 50 wood for that. Wow, that's a lot. But I think before we get that, I think we need another house. And I'm thinking we might do a stone house. What's happening to all the wood again? Seriously, dudes? Are you making furniture again? Because I did expressly tell you not to. Nah, he's making furniture again. Turn it off. No furniture. Stop it. Oh, Jamas the farmer's got mushrooms for me. Yay! Okay, tea's a quest. Some farms have... The, sorry, the farms have sprouted some odd plants. But they just so happen to be really useful. Off we go and grab some of those. I don't mind how many times this quest repeats itself. I'll tell you that right now. It's going to repeat itself all day if it gives me free healing potions. Okay, let's go make these into healing potions. Okay, we'll craft those. another 11 of them so we are actually slowly getting more healing potions than we're using so that's a good sign to me but yeah I think it's probably time now to uh, end this stream and I think that we will carry on um, another time with this definitely because there's still a lot more content that we haven't looked at so we'll carry on and we'll get some other higher level buildings like the weaponsmith. We'll try and get a, a full set of iron armour and look at all the rest of the higher tier buildings in, in another stream. But this was really good. I really enjoyed the game. So thank you for being with us, um, Calendril, and thank you very much for making this lovely game. Um, also, thank you all of you guys for being with me and hope to see you soon. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.